Hey, everybody, it's Dale Archdeacon and Brian Curtis back again for another riveting episode of Cash Call. And today we actually have a special guest, Sasha Chapman out of Fort Worth, Texas. And as you know, we do also love to interview people who are out there crushing it, who are converting leads, and ideally people who know their numbers. And Sasha knows his numbers because, you know, Brian and I are all about the lead conversion. And it's not always just listening to calls or talking about scripting and dialogue. But, you know, we want to be able to bring these other people to you, show you these examples of people taking lead sources, converting these lead sources, and really pick Sasha's brain about how he's doing that and any best practices that he has. So, Sasha, thanks for showing up today, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Happy to be here. Cool. So, um, you know, Brian, what I was thinking is uh, we would just introduce Sasha to everybody, let them know who who they're talking to and why they should listen to this guy. Um, Sasha has been in business for six years now as a real estate agent, running a team for the last two of 12 agents. And as I said, he's operating out of Fort Worth, Texas. And why don't we do this, um, Sasha, why don't you just give us a quick rundown of your top lead sources, and then we'll get into how you guys are converting and, and any best practices that you have for people. Absolutely. Um, so we have a couple of different pillars that we do. So first thing we do online buyer webinars and then obviously in-person seminars. So that's lead source number one. Number two, and our biggest one from the buyer side is we use Real Geeks and we work with a Real Leads platform to run our Google pay-per-click ads. So that has been our number one buyer lead source. We used to be on Zillow and Realtor.com. And because of that, we've gotten off of that platform. For seller leads, I like to do Z buyer. Z buyer leads convert very, very well. Um, these are individuals who are willing to have a conversation with you. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about that. And so we like to do that as well. And then of course, we love to 10X our open houses and we love getting a listing. Once we get a listing, we do an open house and we get more buyers from it, more listings from it, et cetera, et cetera. So okay, those are some excellent. of the things that we do. That's great, man. Okay, so let's unpack this. Uh, Real Geeks, that went by really fast. So Real yep. Geeks is a website provider. Um, they also happen, we have a Real Geeks. Myself, my wife and I have a Real Geeks website. We've had one for 11 years. And we do <coughs> their internal Real Leads program where they run the ads for you, PPC mm -hmm. ads. And so you said you're using them as well. Correct, correct. Okay, cool. And then you said Z Buyer, and that's another one that you use. Correct. You want me to explain uh, that one? Yeah, well, Brian, do you use Z Buyer? You know, see buyer is a great, a great product. Um, you know, it's interesting. And, and Sasha, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. For me, I'm not seeing a gigantic um, conversion rate on seed buyer, but what I am seeing is a really good return on investment because it's a relatively inexpensive lead source. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's definitely a nurture lead source too, right? So it's not something like I call the guy up. Yep. Go do that. Sometimes we get right appointments right away, but sometimes we don't. So I'd love to hear your experience with, with uh, Z buyer as well. Okay. Awesome. You want me to jump into that right now? Yeah, let's start there, and then we'll go on to the Real Geeks website. Since okay, I mean, I awesome. About that one too. You, Brian, do you use Real Geeks? Have you ever used them? I have definitely have used Real Geeks. It's it's a very solid website, and you know, for price, it may be the best bang for your buck as far as price goes Absolutely. out there. I'm not saying there you couldn't find one that might be slightly better, or whatever. But bang for your buck, it's a really really good lead source. Oh yeah, well, I mean, for for small teams and solos, it's the one that I always recommend. Uh, but Absolutely. let's start with ZBuyer. I'm interested in that. Okay. So the way ZBuyer works is these individuals are filling out an online survey or via email as the lead source comes in saying that they want to get a cash offer on their home. Okay. And so sometimes they may not understand exactly what they're asking for, but a lot of them put information there saying, hey, we're relocating, we're downsizing, um, or and they give you information about the home. So the, when a lead comes over to us, you know, what Z buyer will give you is name, number, email. It gives you the specs on the home, three bed, two bath, yada, yada, square footage. And it gives you the reason why they are looking to sell their home. Okay. Now, when you call these individuals, right, here's what I like the most about it. They pick up the phone and they will have a conversation. And in my way, I look at it, if you can have a conversation, you can have a conversion. Now, how do you go about doing this? So let me say this first. You're not just getting this exclusive lead by yourself. You're in a pool with maybe three to maybe five agents at the most. So when you do sign up for this particular lead source, you need to have that conversation. And there's certain places in certain counties here that I know in DFW, I know who else is over there because me and that individual talk quite a bit. 
and then who else is not in a different place. So if I buy into Denton County or Tarrant County, I know I'm only competing against three or four different agents. So the question is, is the conversation I and my agents, are we having up front? Are we better than anyone else? This is 110% a lead source that depends on speed to lead. As we all know, the first person to sit down in front of a seller is going to sign them first, typically. Okay. So the way we go about this is this. They're asking for a cash offer. Bring them a cash offer. So can you do that quickly? We partnered with Zudilio to make that happen, right? Hold on. Wait, I didn't catch that word and I've never heard of it. What is it? Zudilio. Zudilio? Are you familiar with Zudilio? No. Apparently, Brian, Brian knows every lead generation source. Uh, I think Brian and I probably true. try some everything out there to see if it see if it sticks, right? Go ahead. I, I do. I do have uh, shiny object syndrome occasionally. I've full full admitted that. Um, I like really cool stuff, and sometimes it bites me. But uh, yeah, Zudelio is similar to like um, Open Door or Offerpad, offers Offerpad, right. that kind of stuff. It's just a lead. It's just a, a way to get your client a cash offer, right? Right. Right. So this is a point where you want to truly work the iBuyer program and just tell them our scripting is very, very simple. You know, hey, hey, Brian, how you doing? This is Sasha Chapman. The reason I'm reaching out to you is because you requested a cash offer. So, Brian, tell me, why are you looking to sell? I always want to get the why, not the what, not the when, not the where. I want the why, because if they tell me the why, I am going to get to that lead a little bit deeper than the next agent. So they tell me the why. And then we follow up with that and say, OK, great. Well, here's the deal. I'm going to go ahead and start it and start working my network of investors to bring you a cash offer. When we sit down, we can go over all of your listing options. We can go over the cash offer we're going to put in front of you, as well as talk about listing your home because we're a full service firm. They give me some more feedback. I said, great. How's five o'clock or six o'clock or six or seven or whatever? Once we confirm that appointment, we are literally walking in there with a cash offer in hand. OK, as well as our listing presentation and showing them what it is that we can do and giving them the whole nine yards. Here's our listing testimonials. Here's the houses that we put on the market, et cetera, et cetera. And a listing agreement that's already filled out along with the net sheet. So when we walk in there, we're going to have dinner with you before we leave in order to sign that listing. Right. And just now today's the 23rd as we're making this particular video. From January 1st to the 23rd right now, we've already taken six Z buyer listings today. As of today, uh -huh. we just uh -huh. left one. I just came back from one just now that we're going to be putting on the market this Friday. So uh -huh. here's the deal. It is a relatively cheap lead generation source. They will have a conversation and not everyone's a home run. I'll tell you that right now. Some people just want to try to get information, especially around tax time to fight their taxes. But now you have their information, put them on a long-term seller trip, follow yeah. back up with them, but continually put that offer in front of them. If okay. you put that offer in front of them, they'll bite. Here's a good story about this one here, Dale. This one, this person said no like four times, four times, but my agent called them again, again, and again. And then finally something snapped in their life. Life happened. They called my agent and said, hey, you've been calling us um, over the last month or so. Something happened. We need to sell a house right now. They yeah. didn't call anyone else. We didn't discuss commission numbers. Not really. Uh, they signed I the listing run. agreement and they already trusted us. That's that's cash call, baby, right? That's why we named this cash call <laughs> because your <laughs> person kept calling and now they're going to get the cash. And that, and that that was the, that's the difference. She got told no like four or five times, that's right? Great. And just kept going. And then when something happened, she was in front of the lead to convert them. So quick and, and she's a brand new baby agent. That's the thing that I love about it. Oh, that's she's brand spanking new. There you go. That is a gift, right? That's the gift of follow up. That's so uh, let me just understand real quick. So I'm on Z Buyer, uh, or I'm getting the seller leads through Z Buyer. Correct. Get a lead. I call them up. Hey, can I come over and present offers? I'm going to bring an offer. Can I come present offers to you? Then I go onto Zudelio, punch in their address and details, and get a quote. Yes. Well. I'm a autom I, I believe in automation. Everything I'm telling you guys, I do it through automation. So we call, they automatically get a text. We automatically push it over to Zudelio through Zapier. We also okay. push it over to Mailbox Power to go ahead and send a postcard talking about a cash offer. And on okay. the back of that postcard is a QR code that takes them to a bomb bomb email of me talking about what this program is and what we can bring to them. 
So we're going to hit them from a number of areas to make sure we can convert that lead. So everybody listening to this, am I the only one who's really turned on right now? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you, but that definitely gets the engines fired for me. That's beautiful. That, that I love that system that you guys have put together. So all of you listening here who are not in the Fort Worth area should rip off and duplicate that whole process tomorrow. Yeah, no, really? it, it works. And one more thing that we do is that information then goes over to my, through Slack, to my virtual assistant. And that virtual assistant is now putting them into Homebot to make sure we're going to continue to follow up with them. So that we have our long-term drip campaign hitting them in, in Real Geeks. We have postcards going out through Mailbox Power. We also have um, Homebot that's going to hit them monthly on the value. So they're going to see our brand, our names over and over again. And when we call, based off the call to actions in that drip campaign, we're going to click in their heads. Well, you guys have been hitting us up. Yes, we have. Beautiful. Yes, we have. And we're in front Beautiful. of you. Let's go. I love that, man. And I love that you're using automation not to just send them a text message. I think one of the big mistakes that people are doing is they're trying to have automation replace conversations and relationships. Yes. That don't work. You're no, using them to augment your relationships, and that is where people are missing it. One other thing I wanted to point out what Sasha's is doing here that not everybody does with the lead source He's speaking to the call to action. So here's what I mean by that. When someone asks for a home valuation, you give them a home valuation. When someone asks for a cash offer, you give them a cash offer. I see too many people calling people and go, hey, I know you want you, you came in here. Hey, I just want to come over and give you a home valuation. I don't want a home valuation. I want a cash offer. So I'm immediately turned off when someone calls me and like I filled out this form. I didn't ask for a home valuation. I asked for a cash yeah. offer. So Speak to what the person is asking. That immediately puts you ahead of 95% of agents. So amazing job. So. Yeah. Hey, you know, here, here's the thing about that. A lot of these folks are not candidate for cash offers. I mean, they bought the house two or three years ago. And right. I'm like, you know, we can do this if you like, but you're going to lose money. We tell them straight up, your house is not a candidate for a cash offer. Now, you do you say that in the initial, do you say that in the initial call or you don't say that till you get on site with them? Well, we have a decision tree that we follow. Okay. So by far, the first thing my agents and I are trying to do is just set the appointment, right? Tell them, yes, we have a cash offer. We'll bring it to you. We do not make blind cash offers. We have to see what this house looks like because we don't want to go back and forth with you and tell you a high number and then disappoint you coming low. Allow us to see the home, right? So we tell people that. So those who are receptive to that, allow us to come see it, right? So that's number one. And then if, if I walk into a beautiful house with no foundational cracks, no bad roofing, I'm like, eh, tell me again, why do you want a cash offer? And he'll tell us, well, you know, and I'm like, okay, well, we can put a cash offer in front of you, but you know, you can get more on the open market. What's more important to you selling fast or getting the most amount of money? And of course they would say, well, I want to get the most amount of money. Okay, great. Well, then here's a chart that we show them. Here's how we get people the most amount of money and we sell fast at the same time. So what would you like to do? It's going to take us roughly 25 days to sell your home and close on it. Do you want us to go quick with this thing? Or do you want to wait and allow us to do a couple open houses, knock this out, market your home, and then you take the most? And at that point, it's a no-brainer. Um, yeah. So we just give them those options. But you have to go in equipped. And I, I like what Brian said. If you don't speak to the call to action and try to be a one-trick pony, they'll hang up on you. They, they didn't call for an online evaluation. They didn't call for this. So going back to your original question, we follow our decision tree. So number one is just get the appointment. Once they're skeptical, my agents have a whole other series that we look, and we literally have a decision tree saying this. Okay, they're skeptical. Tell them that this is a real cash offer. And while we're on the phone, we will text them a list of homes that we've sold. We will also text them a list uh, and explain how this cash offer process works. Because I have videos in a library where we just text, 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 text to make sure they have that. We either use it through BombBomb or YouTube or whatever. But mm -hmm. everything that we're adding to them is to augment the conversation that we're having over the phone. Okay, excellent. Uh, that Perfect. all sounds great. Well, let's let's also talk about your real geeks because you guys Absolutely. do uh, PPC. I don't know if you're doing social media ads or anything like that, but oh, tell yeah. us about Absolutely. your real geeks website. I personally love them, but tell us how you're using it. So Real Geeks is the core of our entire system. So even with what I say about Zbuyer, Real Geeks is what's sending out our drip campaign. So you got two ends of it. You got oh. the front end being the website, 
right? So we have a nice website. It looks nice. It's pretty, chapmanrealtygroup.com. Do you have anything on your website? Because you can you can uh, do all your landing pages on there. Do you have Absolutely. anything about your cash offers that supports your Z buyer leads on your actual Real Geeks website? Yes, we, we have a landing page specifically for that. Oh, okay, great. Yep. Is that something so, that's publicly visible or can people only see it if they're within your think They can go to it. Um, I don't know the URL off the top of my head, but it's out there. We can put the link into the show notes so that people okay. can check it out. Absolutely. Because what we'll do sometimes, we'll just run ads into that URL and bring more leads in off of ZBuyer for ourselves. So. Oh, okay. Got it. Yeah. Have you been successful in running your own cash offer ads or are you more successful letting ZBuyer run the ads? I feel, well, let me say this. We get so many from ZBuyer. I don't have to do that a whole lot. Okay. Um, the Thank ones you. that we get, they're okay. Honestly, I, I don't think I've dialed that in the way I would like to at the moment just yet. Okay. Um, it's going okay. Um, so I'm, I'm actually test driving between what I have on one off of real geeks and off a landing page I just created as well. So, okay. because I'm, I love trying to duplicate a lead source that I have. So I'm not constantly spending money, you know, if I can't. Right. Yeah, exactly. I mean, if they can do it, you can do it. It just depends on how right. much time and money you have to figure it out. But right now it's not broke. So I don't feel like fixing it type of situation. There you go. <laughs> if it was broke, it'd be a different story, but I like what <laughs> right. it's doing. So, you know, so, are you primarily priority? Are you primarily generating buyer leads on your uh, Real Geek site, or absolutely? For, okay, so primarily buyers. Yep. So yeah. the way we do with Real Geeks is first we got the website right, and it's nice and pretty. We have so many different search pages that we've created on this whole thing, well over two thousand, and they run our Google Pay Per Click ads. So what we've done is is partnering with the Real Leads team. We've looked and done our own research. This is important. It's very important. We've done our own research on what neighborhoods, what cities have the high turnover rate, okay? And we use those particular keywords in conjunction with real leads and let them run their Google Pay Per Click ads. When they do that, the leads then come into us. They have an automatic text message and email going out. Obviously, we're calling within five minutes. My agents have five minutes to make that phone call. And I love this about real geeks. If they do not make the phone call and update the lead source, Within five minutes, it goes over to what we call a hot pond inside of Real Geeks, which is up for grabs for anyone else to grab. So if Realtor A is too busy and can't get it done between the hours of 8 a.m., I think I let it go to 7 p.m., right? It goes to the hot pond. In the evening, right, from 7 p.m. until I think like 9 in the morning, they need to get they need to update that lead or it's going to the hot pond and another agent is now working, that, working those leads. So okay. what that does is allows you to run a team very tightly. Right. And those whose leads keep going to the hot pond, now we're having an accountability conversation. And for mm -hmm. those who are really hungry, they're eating and they're mm -hmm. calling. And when we make that phone call, we connect them why, why they want to buy a house, where they want to buy it, when, where, all that good stuff like that. We create the drip, the emails that they want based off their detailed search in Real Geeks. We send that over to them. We then follow with video emails with, inside of Real Geeks as well. And they're on our drip campaign going forward. So we've already diagnosed the lead as buying here, buying in six months, doing this, et cetera, et cetera. And we stay in front of them. Not to mention, we also have a nice handoff email with our lenders inside of Real Geeks. So when someone wants to go talk to a lender, we just email that same template over, record a video saying, hey, we're sending you to our guy, Dale. He's an excellent lender. He's always taking care of, of our clients. If you're ready, if you're ready to go ahead and start the home, the approval process, his information is going to be down and low. Click on the link and you can apply. His information is there. Make sure you give him your W-2, bank savings, et cetera, et cetera. And then we CC the lender on that. And that's mm -hmm. how our lenders get queued up to start the pre-approval process. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and do you have that lender contributing to the website? Yeah. Or any? Okay, good. Absolutely. Yeah. For those who are listening, most of you probably already know this. For those of you who don't, especially some of our solos, some of our newer agents to the business, you can get third-party vendors like lenders, title companies, uh, attorneys to contribute toward your, uh, your advertising costs, your marketing costs, and your website. And all team leaders pretty much do that, right? Anybody who, who knows that uh, will do that because in a lot of cases, those leads start by looking at houses or they right. start by talking to a real estate agent. And so it's easy to get vendor partners to, to invest in that with you. You know, here's the thing I like the most about it is the cost that I'm getting these leads at, man. So I get my Google pay-per-click um, leads and real gigs, but somewhere between 8 and $12. It depends on what type 
what what point of the year we're talking about, right? Mm -hmm. So on average, I'm roughly about ten dollars and thirty some cents, give or take. Okay. So where are you at, Brian? Do you know? Um, I'm I'm a little bit higher, but each market's going to vary. There's markets out there that'll cost thirty dollars. There's markets out there that'll cost six dollars. Right. I would say your average is probably going to run between ten and twenty. Is is kind of the average. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and Sasha, this is the part that I wanted to talk about for the listeners is, do you know what your conversion rate is on that stuff? On real, real gigs right now, we're cutting, we're converting around 4%. Oh, that's excellent. Cause, yep. uh, you know, there's a lot of people out there that are trying that, you know, I talk to team leaders from time to time who are like, man, I'd like to get a whole number, uh, in front of the decimal point as conversion. That would be great. So, you know, you guys are doing really good. Well, here's the thing. It requires. Let me just say this, guys. It requires A, speed to lead, B, follow up. And we're able to do all this inside the real leads system. Also, you need to really partner with your vendor. Okay. So, our partnership with real leads is constantly looking at what is doing well as far as keywords that rank, right? And what markets make the most sense. There's certain places I definitely want to go into, but I'm not about to sit and pay $40 a lead. I'm, I'm just not about to do that. So, that's fine. And we're able to convert from that perspective, right? And so if you can get that dialed in with them, and we've been able to do that very, very easy. They've been a great uh, partner from that perspective and have accountability with your agents and calling immediately, texting immediately, you can do this. Here's, I'll tell you right now, my pet peeve is when I talk to agents who want to do this is they have no drip campaign. It is so easy to do this inside of the system, but they don't do it. And they say, oh, the lead source doesn't work. No, you don't work. It's a big difference. It's you, it's not the lead source, because if you're not <laughs> going to follow up, there you go. And you got to keep this in mind, guys. Get on base. Stop trying to hit a home run with every freaking lead, okay? Yeah. Actually, just bunt, get on base, hit a double, take a single, and now you're on base, okay? You don't have to hit everything out the park. And I am constantly preaching this to my agents. Hey, did they, did they tell you why? Oh, they told you why. They tell you what they're looking for. Yes. They allow you to create a search. Yes. Or they come from talking to, to a lender. Yes. Well, that's a hot lead. They're going to buy a house this year. Right. Will you be in front of them when it's time for them to buy the house? You tell me that. Because yeah. if you're not, that's a problem. Right? So, uh, Brian, I was just thinking of a script book for team leaders. When the, when the agents, uh, you know, the objection handlers for team leaders, when the, when the agent says these leads don't work. No, you don't work. That's, uh, that's the... <laughs> yeah. That's that truth. may not be the first script you want to go to. Then you know, it may bust a little before, but after a while, that may be the appropriate script. I agree. Right. So, Saj, let me ask you this, because mm -hmm. I think this is, a, you know, we're called cash call, which would yep. imply that we're making some phone calls. Obviously, you're having your agents do that. If you don't mind, what is that script? So the pay-per-click lead comes in, your mm -hmm. agent's on it right away. I pick up the phone. What are you going to say to me? Hey, Brian, how you doing? This is Sasha Chapman. I saw you just sign up on our website. So can you tell me, why are you looking for a home? We always ask why. Not a yes or no, why? So Brian answers the question. Well, we're just kind of curious looking around right now. Okay. And then we start gathering information. So once they tell us why they're looking, uh, well, who exactly are you looking for? Is it just you? You got wife, kids. They go through that whole spiel. Okay. When would be the ideal time for you to, to buy a home? They start telling us that. And we go into the what. Once we have that, we say, well, here's what we're doing for you here, Brian. We, we're creating a search specifically for you. We're going to send you a detailed list of homes based off what you just told me here. Okay. Now, Brian, let's talk about when you want to do this. Are you looking to buy a house in the next three months, six months? And then they say, well, yada, yada. They tell you. Okay. What about a lease? Are you into a lease right now? Well, my lease is going to be up at yada, yada time. We're documenting all of that. And then this is what I love about Real Geeks. We then go into Real Geeks and create a whole activity log. This guy's lease is going to be up here in June. He has to give a 60-day notice, meaning that he has to have it in by May. So if we know he has to give a lease notice by May, he needs to be pre-approved here by March. He needs to be under contract by April, and he's closing. Those are the task lists that my agents have, and they know they need to follow and get done. So now, when someone's saying, oh, they're talking about June, Actually, they need to get pre-approved right now. And they need to yeah, get started right you, now. I love that you're educating people there because a lot of people think I'm going to buy a house in June. I start the process in May and that can right. work, but it doesn't work well as we all right. know, right? 
So the ability to educate a potential buyer, because I feel like as agents, all too often we're making the assumption that buyer understands the process, know when's, knows when's to start. Hey, I love that you're coming up with some ideas of some of the things that we want to do that works best for you as the client. You know, one of my favorite scripts is, oh, you're six months out. Perfect. You're starting at the exact right time. Also, like if they're one month out, you're still looking at the exact right time. I'm not, or, you know, a month out, I might say, hey, we're a little behind, so we need to get going. But my point is, is that too many people hear six months and go, oh, great, I'll call you in five and a half months. That's not the right thing. Sasha is setting them up, building the relationship, showing value on the front end, and thank you for that. So let, let me give you guys something else we do. We have a PDF document we put together. We call it the home buying plan. It's like your personal buying plan. So everything that they've told us, We've documented this into this plan of 10, basically going to how much we get their credit score, how much money they need, their gap, et cetera, et cetera. And so they see this detailed plan and then we'll turn around and send them a bomb bomb recording of said plan. And when they see it, they know it's serious. So what happens is who else is going to take that lead from us? Who has, who else does that? Nobody. So when my agents are doing this, you know, it really helps them. But going back to what you said here, Brian, it's not just, the leads they need to know this. Agents need to understand six months out requires planning, right? And I've seen agents who just say, oh, well, I call them back in May. Okay. <laughs> not, 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 if, not if I get on the phone with them. That's my right, client right, now. Right. <laughs> You're done. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So that that's the scripting that we use, and it works out extremely, extremely well. Um, and we use that same scripting on our Google pay-per-click ads with them. And then we also deal with our Facebook ads through Real Geeks, which are far, far cheaper. Uh, less less intentionality around converting, but if you're having these type of conversations, you can boost those numbers up as well. We convert our Facebook roughly about around, right right at one percent. I'm trying to push it to two, but it, it's tough. But at the same time, uh, I get the lead source for a do, for like a dollar seventy seven a lead. So you got a round number. Uh, you're doing good. Uh, is well, Facebook uh, ads go? I tell you, Dale, it was half percent, 0.6, 0.8. You know, it was a lot of reworking of scripts and everything. And I feel like we're dialed in well enough that I feel good about it. That's but great. the good thing about that is, as a team leader, I can spend 50 bucks on leads for a brand new agent to see if they're worthy of staying on my team here at Chapman Realty Group. And I spend $50 and I'm going to get roughly about 30 some leads in. And I call it the, the hell weekend. And we send it to them over the weekend. Let me see what you turn from it. So from those 30 leads, how many conversations did you have? How many did you send over to the lender? And if you come up with a big goose egg, I'm like, mm. yeah. okay. I know it's not the best lead source, but it shows me if you're hungry or not as an agent. Oh, yeah. That's a really great way to do it. That's that's awesome. I want to say this. We're going to have to end the show here. We're definitely up on time. But um, so, uh, Brian, I didn't tell you about this, but uh, with my company, uh, we actually partner with Real Geeks. I forgot about this because I have a Real Geeks website. They're fantastic. Uh, if so, you know, a lot of times when people men mention sponsors on their podcasts or whatever, it's because they're making money from it. In fact, when I spoke to the real geeks people, I said, listen, I love your website. Uh, if I send people to you, then just normally they would give me 250 bucks. If you sign up to get a real geeks website, I said, knock it off of their cost. So give it back to whoever signs up. So we'll drop a link, uh, for through smart, um, sales training where you can access Real Geeks and you can sign up for them. If you're a new user, you're going to save 250 bucks in the first month. Uh, so nice. that's how much I like. That's how much I like that vendor. They're fantastic. And I'm I'm not going to get rich off of sending people to go use their website, but they're an awesome website. So you guys can save by using that link. Yep. Pound for pound, best CRM out there, guys. <clears throat> Absolutely. They're great. So Sasha, thank you so much for coming in. I'm sure everybody got a ton out of this and it's all recorded so you guys can replay this and, uh, you know, really enjoy it. And if you enjoyed uh, what Sasha had to, to say, reach out to him. I'm sure you're always interested in collaborating with other team leaders around the country, Sasha. Yep. Excellent. Well, thank you so much. All right. Thank you for having me on, guys. I appreciate it. Sasha, great info. Great to meet right. you. Thank you, Brian.